Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us. We are one growing YouTube family. Thank you so much. If you also like the video, please give a thumbs up. It helps to circulate the vid video worldwide and people get to recognize our video, our group, our family. Thank you so much. I also would like to mention to you that I do have a crochet private uh, group on Facebook. If you do have a profile, then you're more than welcome to join. You have to have a profile because there's a lot of scammers going around into the crochet groups and I'm removing myself from them and keeping just one or two that I'm comfortable with. Uh, besides that, I'm taking myself off the other ones. There's too much scamming going on. Be careful with the links that says bit on it. Those are fraud scammers that go through your phone if you're using your phone or your computer. You have to be extremely careful. I also have a crochet page. You can follow me through there. It's the same name, Crochet Art Tutorials by Maggie Lopez. And I also like to mention up top, there's three little buttons. You can slow down the video to the speed you would like. Right next to it, there's the closed caption. Everything I will say will be written down here. You can pause the video, take notes, and, you know, makes it much easier on everybody. If you have a tight stitch, use a hook bigger, one size bigger. If your stitch is too loose, use a hook one size smaller. It helps to uh, create these beautiful patterns. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Um, also, I have the PayPal account below in my description box for donations for the women in need of yarn and thread. They're desperately in need. I would appreciate if you guys can help me to get these threads and yarns to these women by donating whatever you feel like. It doesn't have to be millions. Anything counts. Below my video also, there's this, a dollar sign I think with a little bag or something that's out of YouTube. These are for the people to help the designers, creators uh, with donations. If anybody is pretending to give me anything, to donate anything for myself by clicking underneath my video where the dollar sign is, I intend to take whatever donations I get for myself and put it towards the women in need. This is my attention to do. I am committed to help these women out. So please help me to help them. Thank you so much. I think I pretty much covered everything. I hope I didn't forget anything. Okay, so let's get started, everyone. Okay, everyone. So this is part two tutorial for this Harmony table runner. So I have my two sides done already. And now we're going to proceed with the middle part so we can attach these on each side. Now, you can follow me on Instagram. I have a Facebook group uh, crochet pay, um, a Facebook uh, crochet group. Sorry, I guess I'm still tired this morning. My goodness. Um, you can join me there as long as you have a profile on your Facebook, you can request, just click the link. Everything will be on the description box. I also have Instagram and TikTok. So there's many ways you can get a hold of me if you need any help, any suggestions, opinions. You're more than welcome. Okay, so let's get started on this part two tutorial. And it's the middle piece. And then I'll show you how we're going to attach each side on. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is that magic circle. So you just bring your thread over and come inside of the space here. So close it up a bit. And do one, two, and three. Come inside of the center and create 15 more double crochets. So we're going to have a total of 16 double crochets. Come around on your third chain, close in with a slip stitch. I'll meet you at the end. Going into row two, one, two, and three chain. On the same space, we're doing another double crochet. So we're going to have double crochet, uh, two double crochets per space on each one of them. So we're increasing two double crochets per each space. So we'll end up having 36 double crochet. Or is it 36? Hold on. Um, 32, sorry. Two, four, six, eight. 
nine, ten, and so on. Two per space, and then we're closing in on the uh, third chain with a slip stitch. Going into row three, I'm going to do two chains. Some of you might do three chain, okay, depending upon your stitch. So one, this is considered double crochet. Next space over, I'm going to do two together. Next space, one alone, double crochet. Next space, two together in the same space. Next space, one alone. Next space, two together. I'll meet you on the next row, which will be row four. So we're going to close in with a slip stitch and go up chain two or chain three. Going into row four, one, two. Next space, we're doing two together. Chain one. We're skipping the first one, going into the next one. One double crochet long, next space, two together. One chain. Skip one into the next one. Two on the next space together. We need five groups of three double crochet. Skip one and the next one, two together. One chain, skip one. One double crochet long, next space, two together. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Now, of course, we're doing similar to what we did to the flower. The only difference is we need, just show you here, Because it's the middle piece, we need to do this on both ends so we can attach the both flowers to each side. So that's why we're creating five groups of these on each side. But we're going to go and create the flat part here and the flat part here. So one chain. We're skipping this one, going into the next one with one double crochet. One chain. Skip your one into the next one. One double crochet. One chain. Skip one into the next one. We need five of them. And we're gonna have this oh, and we're gonna have the same thing on the other side. One chain, skip one into the next one. So we have one, two, three, four. One chain, skip one, and then to the next one. So now we have our five. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have our one, two, three, four, five. Now in order for us to have the right amount, we're doing one chain, but we're not skipping this one, okay? We're going directly into the next space. And on the next one, two together, okay? So we can have the right amount of five on the other side. Now we skip, so one chain, skip one, one double crochet long, next space, two together. It was only this one here that we don't skip because we won't have a, a, a not, we will be missing one, so that's why we needed to not skip this one. Skip one into the next one, and we're going to create the five groups again. Okay, so we have three, create your five. So I have my five groups, one, two, three, four, five, one chain, skip one, and we do the five double crochets alone. Skip one, one chain space, skip one, so we have three, skip one, we have four, skip one, and we have five one chain and we close it on the third chain so basically you'll have your five here and your five here five groups on each side okay we're going to row five okay so going into row five 
Now, this is no different than what we did with the flower. And I'll show you here so you'll know what I'm saying. So basically, we finished creating this row here. So now we're going to create the row here where we do the two groups in the middle uh, double crochet. The two uh, double crochets, two chain, two double crochets in the center. And we're going to do that to the five groups here. And then we're going to create our one in between. So walk over. I call it the walk. I'm going to do a single right on the center. Two chain. Coming back in the same space. Double crochet. Chain two. Same space. We're creating those groups as we started with the flower, okay? So now we have the first group. Coming into the middle of the second. No different than what we did with the flower. Two chain separation. And two groups again. A two double crochet. No separation coming into the center. And we're doing our two groups of two double crochets separated space of two chain. So we're going to do that to this one here too. We do one chain. We come directly into the center creating our little blockage. One chain. And again. If your stitch is too tight then do two chain. And creating the little blockage again like we did exactly on the flower. One chain and coming back into the group and create your two double crochets, your two chain, and two more double crochets. And directly into the next one so no separation. And we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Because remembering we're putting two sides of the flower, right? So we're going to do the same thing here. So continue yours and then close it in with a slip stitch after you do one chain. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. I finished mine with a slip stitch going into row six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to do the walk with the slip stitch right into the center and create our groups again. Two chain and create the group again. Let me just see here how many chains I have. Okay, so we're going to do one chain separation and create our groups. So it stays the same like we did with the flower. Two chain separation and create our groups. One chain and create our groups. Okay, so we're going to repeat the same thing here and do our blockage now. Basically, it's exactly the same thing as we have here. The only difference is we're creating two sides. So basically what we're doing is we're doing this here now, right? We're into the first one. We're into the first one here, so we have to create those four rows. One two, three, four that it takes to make this effect. So on the fourth one, we're going to close it in all together with that long chain. Okay. So on our second one now. So this is just to show you so you don't get confused. So go ahead, continue yours and we'll meet on the next row. Going into row seven, which I've started my row. Now, we're going to count from here because we don't count this first one, right? We're going to count from here. So we did one chain. 
next row we're doing two chain and the row after that we're doing three chain and then I'll come back to you on the other row to close it all in together okay so this one is two chain so basically there's no point of repeating the same thing when it's just exactly the same thing so two chain now so one two three four five six seven row seven two chain row eight three chain and I'll come back to you on row nine okay so do your seven your eight with three chain and on row nine we'll do it together okay so we are in row nine so we finished doing row seven one chain row eight two chain sorry uh row six one chain row seven two chain row eight three chain and now we're in row nine so one two and three now it looks all crumpled up like that because it's been pulling a bit but don't worry about it as we go it's going to stretch out so three double um three chain we're going to skip one, two, exactly like we did with the flower one. Come and pull it together. Now, I do mine. I have a habit of turning my, my hook once on it. But you can go directly with your hook right into it. So, two double crochet, two chain separation, and two more double crochet. And what do I mean by that? I mean, like, I turn mine, but you can go directly if you want to, okay? I just have a habit of turning my hook. I don't know why, but it's just a habit of mine. So give it a good stretch, not too much and not too small either, because, you know, it has to fit the rows in there, one, two, and three. Because if you don't give it a good stretch, it's going to crumple up and then you can't do anything. It's going to turn like this into a ball. Okay, so once you stretch it, all the rows stay correctly in there. So we're going to continue to do that, to do that this side and the other. And we're going to continue to do the also the little squares. Okay. Okay, everyone. So we finished row 9, going into row 10. This is where we're going to do the nine chains like we did before on the other for the flower. So you do your group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come into the middle of the group here. Single. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And repeat the same thing again. So we're going to do that again on both sides. Do the group here, exactly like here. We're going to do our group there and continue the little squares. I'll meet you on row 11. So I just wanted to come back and show you. So you have your group, nine chain, single, nine chain, single, nine chain, single, nine chain, group, one chain, and we continue to do the little squares. Now, don't forget when you get here, you have to do your group and your group here also. Okay? So, well, actually, no, because here's already. Yes, we do the group here also. So, you have to do the group on both ends and then continue your blockage. So, into row 11, do your group. Two chain, let me just check here my pattern, no chain, sorry, oh we can do one chain only, I think it's best, so we come into the first loop here, the nine chain, and we're creating the nine chain, one per space. So exactly like we did on the other side. I think the only difference is with the flower, I think we did a two chain separation. This one we're doing one. Okay, so nine. 
So I've done my nine double crochets. I'm going to do one on top of the single and proceed the same way. Nine double crochets in the first chain and we continue on. Now when we get here we do the group. We're going to do one chain separation here also. Do the group and the squares. I'll meet you there at the end. So I've done my last nine and now one chain in creating my group. Two chain in creating my last group. One chain and creating my little blockage. Okay, everyone, so into row 12, did my group, two chain. We're coming into the first one here and creating double crochet. Next space, double crochet. Next space, double crochet. Chain two. Skip one, two into the third one. So we're creating the groups of three. Double crochet. If you look into your pattern, you'll see exactly the same thing. Remembering when we get to the end, we're going to have an extra double crochet, which is normal because due to the count on the double crochet. So continue yours. Two chain. One, two into the third one and create our double crochet. I'll meet you at the end. Okay everyone, row 13 and we have eight groups of three double crochet on both sides. When we're doing chain threes now, two and three. We're going to skip the first one. Remember on the flower we skip the first one and the last one? We don't do. So create your groups on the second square. Chain three. And continue on. Two chain separation and two double crochet on the same space. One, two, and three. So now this is chain three. The next row will be chain four. And the next row will be chain five. And then I'll close it in with you on the uh, one, two, three, on the fourth row, counting from here. So chain three, row 13, row 14, chain four, row 15, chain five. And I'll come back at you at row 16 because it's just a repeat now, okay? Everyone, so we finished doing row 15, going in row 16. And we're going to close it in. So we're going to do one, two, and three. We're going to come down one, two, on the third one. Give it a stretch and close it. One, two, and three. And create our groups again. So nothing changes. Everything stays the same exactly like we did with the flower. It's the same pattern. One, two, and three. So we skip one, two on the third one. Give it a stretch and close it in. Now, after once it's it's done, we're gonna press it out, stretch it out, and everything becomes very good. Okay, so let me show you here on this one. So we are here. So we have another group to do. Now I'm not going to record it because it's the same thing. So once we finish doing this, right, we come back. And we do 
four chain. Okay, after you made your group, you're going to do four chain, continue, four chain, continue. On this second row here, we do five chain, group, five chain, continue. On the third row will be the same amount. So it's the same thing as a flower, five chain. So you have one row of five chain, which is row 16, row 17, five chain, row 18, five chain. So you have four chain on 16, 17, five, 18, and five. And I'll come back to you on the last row. Okay, because it's the same, same thing. Nothing changed, it's just the chain, uh, the chain that uh, becomes the same. So four, five, and five, and then I'll come back to you on the last one. So I'll meet you on row, so we're at 16, 17, 18, row 19, okay? Okay, you guys, so I pretty much finished doing row 19, if I'm not mistaken, I could have called wrong the the number of row but you can't mistake by the motives it has to be lined up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so seventeen with four chains eighteen with five chains and nineteen with five chains I probably called it wrong I don't know but anyway, so you know, 19. I'm going into row 20. Row 20 is to close it out, as we've been doing. So you have to do your groups, your two chain. One, two, three, and four. We're going to come down, give it a stretch, and close it out. One, two, three, and four. And again, create the group again. Two chain separation, two double crochet. So we already know how to close out. I don't need to, two, three, four, to keep doing the, the recording on it. Give it a good stretch and close out. One, two, three, and four. And then you can cut your thread if you're changing colors because we are just going to close in the last row afterwards once we are we attach our pattern. So after this row that we're closing out, we're going to attach our pattern together, which we're going to sew it on. Okay, very simple. Okay, everyone, so now we're going to uh, attach it so I have the needle with my thread now I want to mention to you you must have the same amount of squares on your middle piece up top then this one here now I did my count and one of them I'm okay the other one I'm not okay so I have 22 squares on the center piece and it gives me 21 squares. I must have missed out a stitch somewhere here on the boxes. Or maybe I added two on the same. I think it's more like it. Because the two are the same thing, 21 squares. And this centerpiece has 22 squares. So I probably added two on the same space, uh, probably right from the beginning. And so what you can do is you can jump one over skip one over, to have your 21 exactly the same because you have to have two the same now in case you're starting by the middle piece you're creating the middle piece then you can automatically cut down one and stay at 21 already to start off if you're going into your um, um, flowers you can add two so that that means that you can do one single and add another one, let's say on top, maybe of a double crochet to put that extra 22 in there, okay? Either cut down one or add one. Now these things are common to happen sometimes when you're crocheting, you can miss or, you know, calculation wasn't done properly. 
but it's not the end of the world. So one side I have 22, the other, and I took out one, so one side I have 21. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a very tight stitch on it. So what do we want to do? We want to make a knot first. So we're going to put them face to face, back with back, I should say. And I'm going to pass my thread through it. Like I said, don't, stre don't stress over it because mine is like that too. I have one that I skipped this side, 21, but the other side has 22. But I'm just going to sew very tightly over it. So I'm going to make a knot here just to secure the pattern. You know, and then I'll tuck in the little this end afterwards. Now, what you want to do here, let me just move this so you can see this. So you want to, see this is the thing, you want to put them even, you know, your, your um, boxes with your little boxes. This one's going to be perfect, but the other one, I have one extra. So I need to work around it. So we're going to grab back loop with this back loop, right? The back loop on this one. And it's the back loop on this one. So it's just, you know, just like that. So. And then you come back the other way. So you're going to grab back loop with back loop. So very simple. And you're going to do the same thing on both sides. Okay. So make sure you don't miss any, you know, like you can't, you can't be skipping them or else it's going to leave like holes on the pattern. So like I said, even if you have, um, if you can't line them up properly because the one is 22, one is 23, just glance over a bit. You don't have to be, and do two stitches on the same place. And it doesn't change anything because that's what I'm going to do with mine also. Okay, so it's, I mean, doesn't take rock science to, to do that, right? We've had worse situations with the uh, wood patterns. Okay, so I'm going to continue this, and as soon as I'm done with this, I'll show you what it looks like right at the end, and then I'll show you how we're going to maneuver the other one with 21 squares and 22 squares. Okay, so we're going to pull it, but we don't want it to be that tight either, so it looks stupid, right? So it's going to give that little effect on there. Okay. I'll be right back with you. Okay. So we have one stitch, uh, one side stitch done. Now it gives that little effect. Instead of doing like singles, um, that one I did different. I've cut in through the these squares. This one I'm doing it like this. So now we're going into this one here. Now this one I here I have 22 and this one here I have 21. But that's not a problem. We'll just cut through it. Okay. So we're gonna let's say cheat but we have to have them pretty well lined up. So where are we gonna cheat? We're going to stretch what we can. And we're going to stretch it like this, and it will be all good. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to the corner here and do your first right on the space here on the corner on the loops. So you want to tie it in. Right? Tie it in. Give it one more knot. Make sure that it's not going anywhere. And then we'll tuck in at the end whatever we need to. Okay. So what you're going to do is we're going to uh, first sew these ones here and we're going to cheat. So we're going to put 
this one, if you, that's in case if you have 22 on one and 21 on the other. So the one that's 22, I'm going to just put it right where our group is so I can have them lined up without an issue. So I'm going to start my, my sewing here on the corner. And like this will be all lined up. Oh, I have a knot here on it. That's not good. Okay, so basically you're lining up this group with that one extra that we have there. Okay? So back with back. And like this, you'll have them all lined up properly. So it's not anything that we cannot fix. So once you, you have them lined up like that, then all the other ones fall into place. All right? So here we are. We're back into place with it. So now you just line them up and line up, line up your stitch. And we're good to go. Okay? So very simple. So basically you just did the cheating only on that one up front that you lined up with the with the groups there. And you can't even tell. And all the other ones are lined up together like that. Okay? So the other one is behind here lined up over here and then you put all of the other ones together so I'm going to finish this up and then we'll come back and do the last row with the blue green whatever color you're using okay okay you guys I pretty much finished doing this side too okay so now we're going to do the edge the edge is peacock okay, maybe you see better with this one on I guess with the white, it whitens like too much out, and I don't like that. But anyway, so the edge, you can use whatever color you want. You can use the blue, you can use the green, whatever you're doing. I'm going to go for the blue. So I'm going to start. You can start pretty much anywhere, but I'm going to start right here where I have the... So basically, it's one double crochet where you have the double crochets. I mean, one single where you have the double crochets. Okay, so where I ended my connection there. So we're going to do singles. Inside of the chain, I'm going to do three. One, two, three. If you need to do, to do four, then... Go ahead, you can do four and just spread them out. And then I'm going to do one, two, nope, sorry. I'm going to come in where I have the, the long chain here with a single. One, two, and three. And I'm going to close it out with a peacock. Slip stitch. Come back in. One, two, three and four. We're going to do where the single is, uh, the double crochet we're doing singles. One, just check my hair. Okay, so one single. One, two, three, come back in. Slip stitch. Come back in with a single. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come back in. And actually, I don't want to do three. I'm going to do five. I don't know what I was thinking. Two, three, four, and five. You can just come back in. I think it's going to be best this way. And close it in with a single. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. 
come back in, close with single. One, two, three, four, and five. Come back in, close with single. And then one per space, single crochet, where we have the double, the double crochet. One, two, three, and four. So where we have the chains, we're doing four singles. Where we have the big one, we're doing a single. One, two, three, and slip stitch. Um, not. And then coming back in with four singles again. And then where we have the double crochet, we're doing single inside of these motives. We're doing single one, two, three, four, and five chain. Come back in. Single one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come back in. Single one, two, three, four, and five. and single. So where we have the double crochets, we're doing singles. Okay, we're going to repeat this. And when we get to the other side, it's going to be a picot right on the center where we connect them, but I'll meet you there. So we know we're doing small picot in between. Okay. Okay, everyone. So we are where we have the two patterns. I'm going to come right on it, single, and on the first double crochet here, single, and we continue on. One, two, three, and four. And then come and do your picot with three chain on the where we stretch the thread and everything else stays the same. I'm closing it in with slip. Three and four. And pretty much this is it. Two, three, four, five. Come in with single. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come in with single, one, two, three, four, and five. Come in with single, and then single where we have the double crochets. I pass my thread to the back. That's where I had to cut me. Okay. So, in the center is the same way, and we'll do the same thing here. Okay, everyone, so I've pretty much done everything. I'll have everything in display at the end. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There's quite a bit of noise with my neighbors right now, so it's even hard to talk. Um, I'm going to have it pressed out, ironed out, nice and flat, and I will have it in display at the table. Now remember, you can do this for the table or a buffet or, you know, the hallway table, which is perfect for, and number 10 and Lydia would be perfect size for those type of uh, sizes. Okay, so thank you so much. Please give a thumbs up on the video, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Nancy, it's been a year and a half you've been asking me for this, amongst many others, but especially you. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you got it right this time. Thank you so much, everybody. I send you lots of love, lots of hugs. Take care of yourselves and each other. Until next time, bye-bye.